Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Kippos, a Cthulhu adventure. So in the last episode we actually saw and faced some of those actual Lovecraftian Eltric horrors very close up, and yeah, they were legit scary. And truth to be told folks, I was, not, I was not expecting to actually see them in this game, or at least not that directly, but we did, and it was very cool. And they actually made this game somewhat scary, at least to me anyway. And K-Type is still sane somehow, which is a good thing of course, but usually in Lovecraftian stories and Cthulhu mythos in general, if you see uh, horrors and, and abominations like that, that, that close, you usually go insane. But anyway, so after that we managed to get in here, the Butcher's Inner Sanctum, and we haven't really done much here. All we did was to turn the power back on, but that's really it. We got these three control panels here, these two being doors, I believe, uh, leading us leading us deeper into the actual lab, I take it. But we have to figure out the right code in order to open this. Oh yeah, and these doors have these arrow thingies. I assume that these arrows are pointing in the right direction, the left pointing towards uh, to the left and the right one pointing to right, but we got these leathers slash marks slash uh, characters, and I have no idea what and that what could possibly be the right ones. And as for the central con control panel here, there is four of these, and the only other clue that we got are these papers here. Which, uh, which are which are also written in this strange Eltric language, whatever. The only Roman letters that we can recognize are these M C H K, and there's also a small smaller M over here. And some of you actually gave me some very interesting suggestions, or rather pointers, and observations that you noticed. Good old Morikes has once again posted quite a lengthy post here, so. Let's start reading it. Without much else to go on, unless we had missed a clue somewhere, I approached this under the assumption that the solution is rather simple. Yeah, I mean it must be rather simple and I'm just and I'm just thinking about this too much and making it too complicated and thus I can't see the obvious. That's how it usually goes when it comes to some of the puzzles where I just get stuck. So, what have you got for me? Here's my thought process. I have teared the hint so you have a chance to stop reading at any point to ponder it yourself. Oh why, thank you, that's very thoughtful of you. So let's see. The strange alphabet has 26 characters. Okay. Our Roman alphabet has the same number of characters, so it may well be that each strange symbol corresponds to one Roman letter. That is a very interesting point to make. I didn't really bother to start counting the... Uh, to start counting these leathers. Well, not not these ones here, but the ones that the each control panels gives us. So I I, I didn't bother to actually uh, count these and how that how many how many they are. So that's a very good observation. So where was I? On the MCHK paper, as you noticed, the first word of the text itself starts with a Roman M. Yeah, indeed. That's one thing that I noticed. Hmm? Did you write something down? Maybe there's something in here that could that could clue me in as to what the four letters needed for the central control panel are. Uh what do you mean? You mean You mean this? Well yeah, obviously. Anyway, let's go and let's go and look at these papers again. So yeah, there is this one smaller M here, and no other Roman letters around here, besides these four, of course. So let's see, um, where was I? The Roman M is followed by three more symbols. Is it? Well, I guess there's a little bit space there, so these three. Wait, could these three be the ones that go to the left and or to the right doors? Hmm, maybe. Well, might as well give it a shot. Uh, let me draw those down real quick. First, and the 
second one that kind of looks like an H in a way, and the third one, I don't know what that <laughs> looks like. It kind of looks like an like an eagle. I don't know. But anyway, let's give it a shot. Might as well. Okay, so the first one is this. Second one is the H looking character. Uh, where is it? Here. And then the then the the one that I said that looks like an eagle in a way. Now uh, where is it? Here. Or more, uh, or more like an ar arrow that points downwards. That's what it looks like here. Well, nothing is happening. Maybe I should do the same thing here. It was this and H and it was not this one. No, it was this. And nothing's happening. Okay, so it wasn't that. All right. Well, let's read this post further. Where was I? Hmm. So the Roman M is followed by three more symbols. Yeah. If we assume those symbols are the remaining CHK, we have a decent place to start on deciphering the text. Okay, so if I understood this correctly, this is supposed to be C, this H. Well, like I said, it kind of looks like an it. It kind of looks like H, and this also kind of looks like C, as well. When I take a closer look at it, and then, well, this doesn't look anything like a K, to me anyway. But still, so interesting idea. On the character input panels found on the console and the two doors, the C symbol is in the third position, the H in the eight, the K in the eleventh. Just making sure that I'm counting this uh, right. So, yeah, this is the third position. So this is presumably C. Okay. So basically, if I'm understanding this correctly, the alphabet goes like this: A, B, C. D, E, F, G, and so on and so forth. Hmm. That's a very nice observation because I, because in the last episode I was, I didn't think about that. And even if I did, I think I would have been a bit too lazy to. Uh, I think I would have been too lazy to count count all these and then and then and then check that how many characters there's in the in our Roman alphabet. So that's a very good observation there. I think we are onto something here. Should I read further? Hmm. Ah, yeah, what the hell? I wasted like, I don't know. I think I was in the last episode or last time I played. I, I was struggling with this uh, puzzle for 40, maybe even 50 minutes. But I did edit out some footage so that the episode would not be too long. Anyway, so where was I? Hmm. So, which are the exact positions they hold in the Roman alphabet? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, the strange symbols might well be ordered A through Z. Okay. Yeah. Applying this to the first words of the MCHK paper, MCHK, there, that is the code. Worms, I dare you. I dare any of you insects to try and penetrate my inner sanctum. I have added the punctuation to make it easier to read. Ah, so the butcher whose voice we keep hearing in the inner sanctum here, echoing all the time, uh, did he say that? I dare you. I dare any of you insects to try and penetrate my inner sanctum. Uh, did he say when we did this? Worms and flies. Worms and flies. Left. Left. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and here he says, uh, right, point right, so the, so the arrows are correct, presumably so anyway. Hmm. I dare you, I dare any of you insects to try and penetrate my inner sanctum. Hmm. And MCHK is the, is the password for this, presumably. Okay, well, let's try that. 
So, we know what the C, H and K are, and M is... This one. And then C, H, and K. Uh, which one was the K? This one. Aha, uh -huh, something is happening. Ooh, that looks like another book. Hmm? Oh, I think I just got a... I just got a, a message on my phone here. I check that message later. But now, I think you wrote something down. There are symmetrical control panels on what looks like doors to the left and right of the lab. The access codes needed seem to be a combination of direction arrows and what I think is some strange alphabet. Oh, okay, that's nothing new. So we got another book here. Nothing on the cover but a triangle. This better not be written in gibberish. Oh, let's, let's hope so. This thing must hold some important information. Well, it was hidden behind that painting, so it better be important. Rest, friend. Rest, huh? Well, pick it up. Oh my god, of course it is. Of oh, fucking course it is. Written in this bullcrap language. I might have to decipher this entire thing. Ah, Jesus Christ. Oh, and before I forget. Thanks, Morgus. That was very, very helpful. I can't imagine how long it could have taken for me to figure that one out. I think there was two more pointers left, let's read those real quick. So the code for the central 4 leather control panel is likely MCHK, yeah, it was. Or in other words, the 13th, the 3rd, the 8th and the 11th symbol, yeah, I figured that one out at least. I haven't gone to the rest of the text, but I presume there's a hint towards the three letter codes for the side doors in there somewhere. Let's hope so. Okay, uh, let's hope that I don't need to go and decipher this... this damn thing. Mm-hmm, these look... important. Are these arrows pointing to, towards left? I think they are. What about the right door? What about the right one? That's it. Hmm. Well, m maybe the left door uh, has the answer for that. Has the answer for that. But let's try. Let's try to open this first. Uh, oh wait, you didn't pick it up. Well, okay. So let's see. I'm. I draw those. Real quick. Whatever that thing is. An arrow that points up and it has an has an eye, apparently. And that looks like an instrument of some sort. I don't remember I don't remember what you call them in English, but yeah. It looks like an instrument, the last one. There we go. Okay, let's try it on the uh, not that one. Not that one, this one. Okay, so... Mm, it's a... Uh, uh, not this one, it's... This. It's B. Okay. And then the arrow pointing up. With an eye. At the bottom. Uh, where is it? Okay, arrow pointing up. Am I being thick here? Or just blind? This one is the... This is the only one pointing up. Or an ar with an arrow pointing up. There's the instrument looking thingy at the very least. Now let's put that here. Okay, where is the last one? Uh, is it... It can't be this one, is it? No.
Oh wait, is the last one this or this? Uh, let's check the damn book again. Maybe I just drew the... Maybe I just drew the mark so poorly. Yeah, an arrow thingy pointing up. And an eye at the bottom. And this... Okay, I think it's the fancier one. The last one is correct, I think. What about the middle one? Ah, oh, it's here. It was here. It's A. Ah, it was right. Nice. And what's that? Torn fabric. Okay. The code for the control panel on the left was B. Uh, with all arrows pointing left. Nothing but a gaping chasm and a piece of a torn fabric behind it. Okay. I was expecting... A uh, to get to the lab, or maybe we can maybe we can get there through the right door. It's a small piece of ripped cloth caught on the edge here. Nothing else special about it. Whoever they were, I really hope they didn't end up in the darkness below. Okay. Idiot! Left toward the bay, right toward the EOD. Get it through your thick skull. Mm hmm. Use the hunter's mark on the torn, torn piece of fabric. Someone yelled left towards the bay, right towards the EOD, which I think was Esoteric Order of Daikon. That's what it st stood for, EOD. Aha. Aha, indeed. Can you pick it up? I really don't need it. Maybe just its story. Okay, well, we got the story, all right. Whatever passage used to be here, it's now a big, black, intimidating hole. So it doesn't lead anywhere. If this used to lead to Kraken Bay, well, it don't anymore. Just leads down. Uh huh. Okay. Take it down. Take what? Uh, the passageway. Okay. Well, we still have to figure out how to open Little this one. Hmm. Right towards EOD. Uh huh. Okay, so A B C D E O A B C D E F G H I. Well, let us go with let us let us go with the Finnish version of the alphabet. Easier for me. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O. There and D. A B C D. Hmm. Okay. At least we can go there. Now, we s will this lead us to the lab? Uh, did you write something? No, you just... You just did that. Okay. Now we are talking. And what did we do? Trusted the butcher. Put our faith in the carnifex. Double-crossed by that... That freak! Denying the dreamer his meal, running away with it. That was his payment for our stupid, misplaced loyalty. How do you think this looks like in the eyes of Father Dagon, huh? And I tell you right now, it is as clear as pure seawater to me that the starry knowledge was always behind that lunatic. I know some of you do not see the starry fools as a threat. Ha! You think me mad? You think I am making this up? This very night, a false preacher was spouting blasphemies about Mother Hydra and Father Dagon right outside the Finman house. Oh, that was us. Good thing a true believer cast the first stone. <laughs> well, egg. Yeah, and the that was us. swiftly dealt with the poisonous snake, B -b but it happened. Truly, it has happened in our fishmeth during our festival. Okay, and they have a lot of fish here. Very scary-looking fish. I mean, look at that thing over there. Jesus Christ. We are lost, we are lost, I tell you, we are lost! 
Yeah, you certainly are. Swaying cultist. Delirious cultist. Trembling cultist. Groveling. Zealous. Devoted. Bowing. Barefoot cultist. Prostrate. Cultist. Bulky. Cultist. Humble. So many cultists. What? Hmm? Why, of course I would do it myself. If this pitiful cult had any chance to survive my demise. Uh, do you have... Are those... Tentacles? Coming from beneath uh, his robes. Ha! Okay, anything else interesting here? Doesn't look like it. Only these cultists. None of the fish tanks interest us. Step up! None of these chandeliers. Step up and offer yourself, and we may yet appease him. Oh, he's asking that who wants to volunteer to become a sacrifice to Dagon. And none of them seem to be too willing. Should we... I guess we should look at all of them. I, get, I guess we could yell down as well, but that sounds like a horrible idea. Kooky, freakish cultists. All the blood and sweat and tears look at those we put idiots. The <laughs> Wasted on a liar. Oh, it was the. I was. I, I was thinking about taking a cl closer look at all of these cultists, but no, he's gonna say the same thing about all of them. Fair enough. I can't throw the hunter's mark that far. No, I didn't think so. We can't click on their leader, I suppose. The ones holding this ceremony, anyway. The meal. Should we just what yell down? We were. Maybe volunteer ourselves and then do something to sabotage it. What I don't want to know I'm here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Little one. What do we... Pebbles. Should we... Throw these at them? Uh, okay. That didn't do anything. How about this groveling cultist? I would not when say that out loud. I think of the heaps and heaps of fish we fed to the kraken all the time, hoping it would be the meal. So the butcher fled with all that fish. Okay. Why would he? Why would he do that? Well, I guess we'll find out later at some point. Son of a nebula. Son of a nebula. Uh That's strange. Ah, uh, what's strange? Butcher. Fist. How did we even trust him with a moniker like that? Hunter kiss you. Huh? Hmm, am I supposed to make them fight each other? Hunter. Repent. Yeah, he said Repent hunter. Repent in the face of fire. Stink your stingrays. Suffering squids. Okay, have I... I think there's only this barefoot cultist left and this bowing one. Look around you. Your very neighbor may be a shadowy agent of that forever cursed haunter. Uh, throw it, Pip. Uh, throw it, please. Thy neighbor, question thy relative. Put no, your trust here. in no one but yourself Just and Dagon. You. Huh? Still nothing. Stars. I thought these guys were all about fish. <laughs> oh. Enough of this masquerade! I knew it. Treason. There is but one true God, you. Fish-loving heathens, and his name is the Haunter. How dare you speak that name in the house of Dagon? You broke into our temple and stole the troubles of Hedron. Now you're going to pay. We'll feed you to the fish. Give us the book. Now you give us the book. Oh my God, little kid, 
Wh what are you doing? Wait, what? Oh, wait. Priscilla. <laughs> Oh god. Oh Jesus. Damn. I guess now they became the fish food. Oh hey, a clock tower. Oh yeah, we were looking for a third clock tower, I believe. Ah, oh, Barnabas. As Rome burned and Nero watched and fiddled, so too we witness the fish take vengeance on the fishermen. Not sure it's the right comparison, Mr. Bizarra. Yeah, I mean, I'm just worried about the kid. Yeah, what happened to Priscilla? Ah, oh, there she is. Me, Gramps. I'm well and happy. No one's hurting the fishies anymore. And their bellies are nice and full now. You really shouldn't have witnessed that. <laughs> yeah. Except you sort of made it happen. Well, it's all over now, Grandpa. Look. Grandpa. Water's draining, and the fishies are returning home. A perfect ending of the festival for everyone. Hooray! <sighs> oh, maybe. Don't call me Grandpa. Oh, he, she was talking <laughs> okay, to type. I'll be on my way. Before Mom and Dad and Grandma notice that I'm missing. It's been fun. See you around. Take care, kid. Well, yeah, good. Crazy world Bye, Priscilla. Huh, Thanks. Mr. Basara. Thank you for your business, by the way. I sincerely don't know whether thanks are in order. I... I'm more confused with each passing hour, but my resolve grows stronger. So what are you doing in this building of all places anyway? That's a good question. And yeah, we need some answers too, but let's ask this first. So, what are you doing in this building of all places? Keeping tabs on the esoteric order? Looking for Olmstein? Sightseeing? You might joke about the sightseeing, but that is part of why I'm here. All across this accursed world, the storm rages ever more powerful, and I strongly expect some kind of... some kind of sign soon. Uh -huh. What kind of sign? Care to be a bit clearer? Uh, what sign? What sign? Why here, of all places? Maybe a reason for a bell to ring through a terrible storm. News sure does travel fast. This is the highest steeple in Fishmouth, with the grandest, most resonant bell in miles. This is where I'll wait for a sign, for as long as it takes. And awaken the beast? How do we know that's a good thing? We don't, but it is written... So it shall come to be. This could be the start of a fascinating philosophical debate. If only we had time. Oh, I don't know about you two, but I have time. Now, we need some answers. I need answers. I need to know what the hell's going on here. Ask. Although I don't think that he... I don't think that the bar... I don't think that Barnabas knows a lot that what's going on either. Help us find and stop, and stop this butcher. Well, that's what he's trying to do, I believe. There is this sign that's associated with Olmstein. Sign. Was was it was it that sign that that boss picked up from his room last time when when he was in Fishmouth? And we and when we first met Barnabas. I have come across terrible things in the butcher's pits. Yeah, that's that's true. They were terrible. I assume that we can well, assuming that we can only say one of these, let's say this. I've come across terrible things in the butcher's pits. What were they? It is clear to me that Fishmouth holds more secrets than can be dug at in this small window of time we have, and time is not on our side. Not since we found that damn Necronomicon. Some use it to spawn horrible monsters. Some to make cats speak. Some might say it's the same thing. <laughs> How do we fix that? What Olmstein allowed, Olmstein can undo. Find the enemy, thwart his plans, and Olmstein will reward you. I wish I had your confidence, Barnabas. Okay. Although I don't think that summoning terrible creatures like that is the same thing as making that cat talk. That's a bit too much. 
Hmm. So this... So this sign... There is this sign that's associated with Olmstein. Tell me what you think it means. Could be the visual representation of a formula. A constellation. Could be a map. Hmm. Thanks. I'll give it some thought. Uh, have we have we actually seen it? Uh, did Buzz uh, show it to us at, at any point? Because I don't remember it right now. Uh, we can ask this again, apparently. Well, help help us find the butcher, even though I'm quite sure that you are already trying to do that. Help us find and stop this butcher, Barnabas. Carnifex Cerebralis. What did you find out from scouring Fishmoth in its festival hours, Seeker? The Butcher was definitely in cahoots with. The Story Knowledge Cult? The Esoteric Order of Dacon. Well, he did apparently uh, betray the Esoteric Order of Dacon. And, but I don't think that the, the Story Knowledge Cult doesn't, didn't seem to like him that much either. Well, at least this one is true. Or used to be the true. esoteric order of Dagon. I'm convinced he used them to raise some kind of sea creature, codenamed MCHK. That was the its codename. And what of its purpose? Half Kufa. So MCHK was its code name. Okay. The meal. That's what they called it. These EOD kooks thought they were raising the sea monster as an edible tribute to Dagon. They trusted the Butcher. Huh. He obviously took his meal, this MCHK, whatever it is, and, and escaped. Question is, where'd he go? Any ideas? Not exactly, but keep this in mind. Olmstein always watches, and always leaves something behind to push you in the right direction. Well, ain't that nice of him. No, yeah, very. Hmm. There is this sign that... Ah, oh, we already said this. Right? Uh, just double checking. There is this sign that's associated with Olmstein. Tell me what you think it means. Could be the visual... Yeah. A constant... We have gone through this already. Hmm. Well, I guess we are done here with him. For now. I don't have time for this. Hmm. What else can we ask? Just a few more questions. Hmm. Never mind. I don't have time for this. Oh, I guess we just leave. I've gotta go. I gotta meet Buzz and Peace and try to put the pieces together. The other guide you. Do your best to find out where the Butcher is headed, and put an end to his plans, whatever they are. I will stay here and... Wait for a sign. See ya, Barney. Don't call me that. <laughs> Barney. Barney the Dinosaur. Oh, hey, oh, this is here. Hey, kids. He's back! Nice place you've got here, Don! Glad to see you made it all right, buddy. Scared the living daylights out of us. <laughs> no offense, Wish I could dude. have seen... Wish I could have seen that. Yeah. Fishmouth was interesting. Met your dad finally, Peace. Oh, yeah? Is he alright? He's good. He's in a steeple, waiting for a sign. Sounds like dad. Can we please skip the niceties and put our heads together? Right. I made my way into the butcher's laboratory. Ah! Sorry! Bad flashback! Would you please excuse me? Sure thing, Otis. Go get some rest. The butcher. He wasn't still there, was he? I just missed him. What did you find that could be relevant? MCHK, the festival, the stabilizing element. I wish we could say all of these, but let's let's say this. MCHK seemed to be an important acronym. What's that about? We have a theory, apparently. I don't think I have enough data to speculate. Well, let's just say that we have a theory. I've got a theory. MC might stand for... Mind control? Massive creature? Assuming that half Kufa is massive. Massive creature? I mean, that's what it supposedly is. As for... HK. Half Kufa King? Humongous Killer? Half Kufa King? Massive creature, half Kufa King. Ah, I might be very wrong on that. Yeah, I think so too. Either way, he apparently used the cult to get the monster bred and fed. 
and then ran away with it to who knows where. The half Gufa. What, what will he do with it? Huge biological weapon under your control. I can think of a number of things. Oh boy. We need to get this guy. That's great and all, but you know, my problem? Remember what this is really all about? Oh yeah, it's all the about Butcher her. and Olmstein? There's a connection there. We gotta stop always being one step behind him. And we just ignore her. Hmm. The festival. The festival. Vishma really knows how to party. What I can say for sure is that the Esoteric Order has been brought down a few notches. And so is the Starry Knowledge Cult. Nice going, man! Wasn't me who did it. Hmm. It was a short, weird little girl who really loves her fishies. That actually makes a lot of sense. It does it, Yeah. No. Other than that, I'm afraid Fishmouth and its creepy inhabitants remain a mystery. For now. Okay, and the stabilizing element. The stabilizing element. Olmstein's constant. What did that say again? A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout its shell. Awaken the beast. What are your thoughts on it? No idea. It's just a red herring. I don't think so. The end of all this. The end of all this. What Peace said when I called you guys. It makes sense. I just don't know that I want all this to end with a beast awakening. None of us really do. Yeah. No. I stand by my conviction. Just like the Necronomicon, this is all just ever-changing chaos. So Olmstein wrote the ending down and set it in stone. Wrote the ending? What does that even mean? He is not like us. Can't you grasp the concept of divinity? If he wrote it down, it will happen. Oh, man. Wait, are you saying that the Butcher is a god? Or at least not a regular human being? Where are we on Olmstein's sign? Where are we on Olmstein's sign? I'm stumped. What do you think it could be? A constellation? Some kind of scientific scientific formula? Hmm. Ah, uh, constellation? See, that was the first thing we thought of, but it doesn't match any known stars. It still feels like something viewed from above. Wait. I have an idea. Oh? Hand over that mouse buzz. Oh, are we in control? <laughs> okay. Uh, detective work and you by an Kemplin? A uh, Campion? Ah, oh, that's an I, not an L. Campion? Me and Vivian? Who the heck is Vivian? Dance, email, copy of final. <laughs> copy of final. I almost. I almost read that. I almost read that as Final Fantasy. A uh, final, final, final. Kicking the habit by C. Quibus. Olmstein's sign. Oh yeah, yeah, this sign, yeah. I, I, I remember this now. So this was the sign that we picked up from uh, Olmstein's room in Fishmet with Buzz. Yeah, I remember it now. Don Jr. World map. World map. Mm. I'm not prying into Don's personal files. Oh, okay. I'm not prying into Don's personal files. But I want to... I, I, I want to see his files. What kind of porn is he into? I'm not prying into Don's personal files. I'm not prying into okay, Don's Okay, I can't click files. any of these. Sure. How about world map? Very simplistic world map. Okay, so... Ah, so we are in the United States. I was wondering that... Wait, where the hell... Like, where the hell is Darkham anyway? Ori uh, originally I thought that maybe... Maybe it's... As, that maybe it's somewhere in Europe. I mean, after all, the developers are Romanians from Transylvania. So I thought that, hey, maybe they... Maybe they ma made a Cthulhu game that is... That is based... Uh, the way the story is happening in somewhere in Europe. But no, it's in, um, in the United States. Okay. Fishmouth. Columbus. Broken Bow. Umiet, Bukara, Bukara Manga, Manaus, Caporon, uh, Perth, Tiamena, 
don't know. Pilipino, Volkokrat, Voronez, Moscow, Ishma, Temelur, Borovici, Forum Maris. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah, that's that's the town where we were in Romania with Bars and Kitty. Paris, we were there with Don and. <laughs> yeah, Kuopio, a Finnish a city. Yeah. Uh, are we going to Finland to Kuopio? That would be so sick. Sarkak. I'm not even trying to pronounce that. Uh, let's check out Kuopio if we. Oh, man! Can we check up? No, we can't check any of these places or find more info or something. Hmm? Oh, uh, I have I, I had no idea what happened. I had no idea what happened there for a moment. I thought that the game just froze, but hmm, okay. Wait. Hmm. Let's see. Let's start from Kuopio, because I just I just want to. Okay, if only we could actually go to Finland in this game. That would that would be so sick. But hmm, oh, I can do it like this, I suppose. Okay, but unfortunately, I don't think. Maybe it's a map. Yeah, indeed. I think Barnabas suggested that maybe it's a map. God damn it! Can't we? I guess Kuopio is not part of this map, unfortunately. Hmm. Can we rotate this? I guess not. About this? Uh, no. Seriously, we can't rotate this. We can't rotate the map. No, okay. Ah, there we go. Fismut, Paris, and Forum Maris, and then... There was a bell in Paris. There was a bell in Forum Maris. Mm -hmm. Don, you said my dad's in a steeple in Fishman. There's a bell there, too. Mm -hmm. What do you know? It's Point Nemo! Point... what? Earth's pole of inaccessibility. It's the one point in the ocean that's farthest from any land. There should be nothing there. Hmm... Maybe look it up in uh, recent news on that uh, the, th the thing there. Looking it up on the thing. Okay, what I'm finding are crazy conspiracy theories about expeditions to Point Nemo going back more than a century. Anything remotely recent? Decades ago, a ship called the Alert rumored to be carrying a huge cargo of explosives never returned apparently mm -hmm. sounds uh, encouraging yeah very so we've got three bells plus point nemo that's got to be it we're going right hold your horses buddy say we go there what do we do about the bells i can get a hold of vlad i can vlad. find a way to reach dad i got sarge eating out of my palm so I'm sure we can coordinate. Ring them uh -huh, all okay. at once. We make them we help us out. Awaken the beast. But do we want to? Or does that help the butcher? Think about it. If he ran away with it, it means that the butcher's in control of this monster. This beast, right? Just a theory, but these bells might snap the creature out of it. Yeah, three bells ringing thousands of miles away. Completely realistic. No, it makes a lot of sense. And it fits the constant. Let's get in touch with all three of them and tell them to, uh, wait for a sign. We're a creative bunch. We'll come up with something should we need to, right? Yes, of course. Preparedness has always been our forte. What do I really have to lose at this point? The end of the world it is. It's just the farthest point from land. It doesn't really end there. It doesn't, huh? Tell me more. This is going to be one long trip. Hmm. I wonder if the ancient city of Rulie or Rifle, however you spell it, is 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 at Point Nemo. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Ladies and gents, it's kind of crazy, but we're really here. 
as far away from civilization as humanly what possible. The? Not just humanly. Oh, right. Three months worth of rent money says what we're looking for is on the top of that mountain over there. I don't know. Did you see that crazy looking beach? I think our best bet is to split up and... Search for clues? Well, yeah, actually. It might increase our chances of finding this butcher. Peace. How about we take the mountain? Well, Cat, I hope you brought sunblock, because it's time to hit the beach. Buzz, don't make this worse than it has to be. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm nervous. Nervous? Okay, scared. I'm really, really freaking scared. Let's do this. And whoever finds the butcher first? Actually, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, let's just hope for the best, but... This is a very strange looking place. It was, it was so far down in the south. Uh, very close to the south. To the. Uh, what do you call it? Not South Pole. Chapter 7. Point Nemo. Uh, what do you call it? Antarctica? The. Point Nemo. Hopefully, hmm? it all ends here, once and for all. Is it me, or does this place seem off somehow? Oh, you and think? For some reason, that huge, not quite full moon up there is particularly bothersome. Gibbous. What? Gibbous. Title of the Gibbous. game, folks. Almost, but not quite fully revealed. It's what you call that kind of moon. Whatever you say, Madam Scientist. Let's just... What? Oh my... Oh my god! Whoa! What? What is this? I don't know, but you look repulsive. What is this? What have I turned into? You sort of look like discarded deli meat slapped together. <laughs> no, what? This is not me. You just got transformed, against your will, into something you despise. Sucks, huh? I'm an abomination, kitty. Yeah, I didn't a even literal, do anything. Literal oh, abomination. God. Oh no. Do you think this is permanent? Oh, well that's... Apparently not. Slightly oh. better, I guess. Oh, what now? What do I look like now? Um, basic? <laughs> basic. Everything is squares. I'm squares. Ah! Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I kind of prefer the previous look, to be honest. Yeah, same. What fresh hell. What even am I? Some kind of... Um... Uh, you're like, um... Uh, yeah, I, I, have... I give up. I have hard time. I have hard time finding the right this words place too. Is really doing a number on you. Oh, he's back to normal, for now. Wait, I'm back. Oh, praise the infinite universe! I am back. That was scary as. I hate to be the ever cynical one, but I have a bad feeling. I think it's. What? The Necronomicon. Ah, oh, wonderful. Yep, it's cyclical. No! 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 The bad news is, you seem to keep transforming. The good news, it's only happening to you. <laughs> what That's something. can we do, Kid A? Suck it up and press on, Kerwin. <sighs> You're right. Let's keep going. We're not gonna play as him like that, are we? Oh, we totally are. Ah, oh, just... That's just freaking great. Freaking awesome. Right. Okay, I think that, I think that this is the perfect place to... Stop? Oh, he just keeps transforming. Uh, he just keep, keeps trans transforming all the time. I see. <laughs> okay. Who walks like that? But yeah, like I said, I think I think that that this, this is a good place to stop, and this might be the last chapter of this game. I think I read from somewhere that how that how many chapters the game has, but I forgot the number. But this looks like. But it looks like that we are very, very close to the end of the game. Maybe the next episode will be the last one. Maybe the second to last one. I don't know. But, yeah. We'll see. So, until next time. Thank you for watching once again. And see you next time for more Gippos. Or Gippes, however she spelled it. Gippes. A Cthulhu adventure. <laughs>